guys i'm back with another video today and as you guys can tell by the title i'm gonna be doing a what should i sell and i actually asked my instagram supporters i asked my supporters to vote between two options it was a long maxi skirt and a long t-shirt dress i'm about to forget a long t-shirt dress and if you haven't watched my first what should i sell i'm gonna link it up here and go watch that and then come back to this video and I'm gonna be using the same material. The same material as my first What Should I Sew? This is actually a knit material so I know it's gonna be cute and I'm not gonna to talk too much cause I just wanna to get to it so I can get to the results and let's go. So first you're gonna place your fabric out right sides together and then place your pattern pieces on the fabric. And my front skirt is cut on full, so I did place the center front on the full line of the fabric. And then I'll just be placing my other pattern pieces and marking my darts. And once everything's marked and placed, I'm going to pin it and then cut it out. And I did lengthen my skirt just because I wanted a longer length to it because I am tall. As you can see, my darts are marked. I'm just going to pin it so I can have a clean guideline for when I'm sewing. And one of my favorite things actually is darts. I love sewing darts. I love a dart because it just makes the garment have a clean finish to it. So my front and back darts are sewn together and then you're going to have to press it down so it won't show too much on the fabric so it won't pucker up and then you're going to pin your side seams together right side so whenever you're pinning make sure right sides are together and just sew along the side line i said the side line <laughs> sew along the side seam five eighths of an inch and now I'm getting ready for my waistband. One thing I am upset about is I don't have interfacing. If you sew, you know interfacing is very important, especially for a waistband because it gives that waistband a much sturdier and cleaner look to it. But since being quarantined, I haven't been to the fabric store so I don't have any interfacing. So I'm just gonna have to work with what I have but whenever you're doing a waistband, make sure you have interfacing. But right now I'm just gonna use what I got and sew my waistband together, the front and back sides together. Always, always, always press it down. You always have to, whenever you sew something, press it, iron it, just so that it can be flattened. You don't wanna have any wrinkles cause that could also mess you up when you're sewing. So I'm just going to stitch my front and back waistband together and then I'm going to place my waistband right sides together within my skirt. Always remember right sides together. If you ever forget, just think right sides together. To finish pinning your waistband to your skirt. Just gonna press it out. And as you can see, it's a little puckering just cause I don't have interfacing, but it's okay. We're gonna make it work. And this is how it turned out. Mm -hmm. 